So basically, the goal of this experience was try to figure out why do snails biodegrade from salt and other types of natural chemicals. Okay. And I kind of predicted that the snails would dehydrate and bubble up during the experiment because uh -huh. I did testing before. Talk to me about some uh, scientific literature and resources that you read about prior to this. What, what, what is your research? Well, I researched like why do snails, what happens when snails get sawed on them. Talk to me about that. And basically, they actually dissolve because they're being dehydrated because of the osmosis being lost. Osmosis, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Osmosis being lost during the time. Okay. And because they basically their water, their body is full of water, and what percentage do you know? Uh, then they didn't give me. But it's a high percentage. Yes, yeah, a very high percentage. Okay. And for them to lose water is just it kills them basically. Okay. And and my hypothesis was like if I pour natural chemicals onto snails, then will will the snails dissolve because the snails would dissolve because the chemicals being used causes the snails to dehydrate. Excellent. And did you have a prediction of which one of the chemicals you used was going to do the most damage? Um, the teriyaki sauce. That was your prediction? Yeah. Okay, so you predicted it was going to be teriyaki. That is in your hypothesis. Got it. Yeah. All right, now let's talk about um, if I were watching you test one snail, what did that project look like? Well, basically it looked like me sending a snail inside of a little container, uh -huh. and I would... Can you show me with the pictures? Well, basically starting with this one. Okay. This was the teriyaki sauce, and basically I just... Well, the shell's lost. I'm sorry, that's a puddle of snail. Yeah, that's a snail. <laughs> this right here is the snail. It started like this? Oh, yeah, it started like this. And then... And it, how many minutes was that? This one was actually, like, what was it, three minutes, I, I believe? Three minutes? Three minutes, okay. Three minutes and five seconds. And it, it literally turned the snail into liquid. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about your others. And this one, the salt didn't really do as much damage as the teriyaki sauce. The salt just basically just dehydrated the snail, leaving it still like with the body instead of this just turning it into straight liquid. Okay. And with the water, the water didn't do nothing to it because I guess it's naturally functioning to water. Well, yeah, and, and snails are going to naturally be exposed to water. Uh, yeah. Was that tap water or was it bottled water? It was tap water. Tap water. So he lived. Yeah, he lived. He did not die. And what's in the bottom? In the bottom was... This, the astringent, deep, yeah, deep cleaning, okay, yeah, deep cleaning toner. And what was the active ingredient in that deep cleaning toner? Acid, it was a, a lot of acid. So, did you test the pH of it, or oh no, I didn't taste you. Test just it. how did you know what the a active ingredient is? Well, basically, I just looked on the back of the container and that's just what told it did. Okay, good. So, um, so we've now collected four snails, we've got some containers. Uh, did you pour the same amount in each yeah, one? Yeah, I put okay. 30 millimeters on to this milliliters. And with the side. I just okay. spilled, I filled it up with 32. And well, then no, did you put it right on the snail, or did you let put the liquid down into the container and then put, I put the it right snail? on the snail? Put it right on the snail. Yeah. Talk to me about your qualitative observations, not your quantitative, but your what did you observe with each one of the test groups that happened to the snails? Well, basically, I seen that one had more effect than the other. Describe the effect. So let's start with your teriyaki, teriyaki puddle. Sauce. The teriyaki <laughs> sauce, like it turned it straight to liquid, and the salt, it didn't do it. Like the body was still there, but then did he the, die though? Yeah, it died. he did die. Yeah, which one died faster, the teriyaki, teriyaki sauce? Teriyaki sauce. Okay. And what's the active ingredients in teriyaki, do you know? Uh, no, I didn't. So it's high level of sodium. So this is going to be liquid salt, and then you also use powdered granule salt as yeah. well, okay? Um, you did not think it was going to be the teriyaki sauce? No, I, didn't, I thought it was just going to be salt, because naturally. Because you'd had um, other background. Yeah. Um, did you find any other natural ingredients that are used for trapping and killing snails? And explain to me why we want to kill snails. Well, the beer. Well, I can Talk to beer. me about that. You did beer, some research on that. The beer kills the snails quicker, and it could be safer than salt sometimes. Uh -huh. And the reason why we should kill snails is because, like, they can come, uh, they could danger our plants, basically. And why is that a bad thing? Because, like, when farmers doing crops and stuff, they have to, they just ruin their crops, basically. Okay. Um, talk to me about if you were going to redo, if I said you have a second chance, you failed this experiment, which mm -hmm. you didn't. But if you failed this experiment, and I said you have another two months to do this experiment over, tell me three things you would change and do differently. Oh, just find snails like with the shells, like full shell, like because this one didn't have a full shell. So I don't it know was slightly it, broken. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it impacted it or not. All right. So that would be part of your scientific error. Yeah. What else would you change? I would change the way I put the stuff on it instead okay. of just. Like, how, how so? I just make a, like a little trail and see if it goes onto it instead. Okay. Onto food. See it. Or oh. plants, yeah. Uh, so put it actually on the plants on the and plants. see as they walked around on it, okay? Yeah. Would you have used more snails? Uh, I use 
six more snails after I used the first four. Oh, so you did this, you repeated the test? Yeah, because okay. I had to time it after. Perfect. And what was different about the first test to the second test? Well, it came out to an average, like, they died the same way, I mean, the same amount of time. But, but the average, so it still was the teriyaki sauce even after yeah. the second thing. Um, so you proved your hypothesis right or wrong? I proved it right. So you sense. said the teriyaki sauce? Yeah. No, I didn't say, I didn't say anything. So which one did you predict was going to... Oh, the sauce. Yeah, the, the, the so you did think it was going to be the teriyaki yeah. sauce, and it was the teriyaki yeah. sauce, okay? What other conclusions did you get from this experiment that you can apply to um, agriculture and or snails? I mean, well, what? that farmers could basically just put, like, teriyaki sauce onto their crops, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or on the ground? Yeah, on the ground. Okay. And kill, kill them off instead of using pesticides and mm -hmm. stuff. Did you do, find any research on the effects of salt on crops? Um, no. So I would say that would be some more information you want to know. Sorry about that. And tell me, last but not least, um, if you, uh, scientific error, what are some errors that you think you did in this experiment that you could have done better? Or again, if you were able to redo the experiment again, um, what are some scientific errors that the you The one know? that I said was the Talk shell. Talk to me about it. So the and shell is one, all right. And then the other one was like, Getting the, using the same timer because I didn't use the same timer. Oh, different timer. So it yeah. may have been slightly off on that. Yeah. Um, what? How could you connect this to your future? Or how did you connect it to your biology learning targets? Well, I connected it because basically, throughout time I know that when we use the pollution, I know that it could be an effect on the plants and also the snails itself mm -hmm. and affecting their environment, right? Their habitat. So. And what do you call that if it's affecting everything in a habitat? It's the yeah. food. The food chain. Yeah. It affects the food chain. Perfect. Is this something that you would like to continue to study, or would you do a science fair project on snails again? Yeah, I would. How come? Because basically, I mean, no way, I mean, the farmers don't even know how to, like, get rid of them without using certain chemicals. Mm -hmm. and did you find any research on the damage that they do do? Not did. I think one of my authors did, but I didn't. Oh okay, cool. Thank you very much, Jabari. Thank you. Can you, I see your citation, please. Oh, one is right here. No. Yeah. Oh, you got the work cited there? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. And excellent. Thank you very much, my friend. All right. Now I'll just leave that there. And take your, yeah, you can take those. I don't need your teriyaki sauce, but thank you. <laughs> what about this? <laughs>